please welcome a very, very funny man, Sam and some bloke who hangs around with him called Mr. Paul Zerdin. You're going to love this. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Janine. Hello, good evening. Yes, my name is Paul Zerd, and this is sound. Look what, look what, look what, look, they're staring, it's rude. They're meant to be staring, that's the way the gig works. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what? They're all staring at you. Really? Yeah, they're all looking to see if your mouth is moving. <laughs> really? Yeah, but you can't tell that way. Oh, no. Because sometimes his mouth doesn't move. My mouth doesn't move. <laughs> and you wonder where the hell is the sound coming from? <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. What? Look, what? You. What? You think you're it? I don't think I'm it. You think you're smart? I, I don't think I'm that smart. You think you're clever? <laughs> I don't think I'm that clever. When I was at school, I did actually get some exams. Yes, yeah, so and now look what you do for a living. <laughs> you play with dolls. <laughs> Right, that's it. In there. Oh, yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on! Yeah. <laughs> come on, look, look at me when you're talking to yourself. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, he's really getting on my nerves at the moment. I warned him. I said, right, just put one foot wrong and that's it. Oi, what? I'm gonna come look out. <laughs> Sam, I've got... Other... Please let me come look out, please. <laughs> it's me, you fools. Anyway. Anyway. I'd like, I'd like. It's great. It's great. Are you copying me? Are you copying me? Look, don't do this. Look, don't do this. Look, look. I'm, I'm warning, warning you. You. Stop it. Stop it. It's pathetic. Pathetic. You're pathetic. You're pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. No. <laughs> I'd like to put something out to you now. I'm a grown man standing here on stage and having a conversation with some luggage. <laughs> and you're going for it. <laughs> you know, you can have laughing on because right? Before a gig, before a show, you always have a sound check, right? This is what I like to do to wind up the sound man to make him think the microphone's gone out of sync. And I do this at the sound check using ventriloquism just purely because uh, I can. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? Testing. One, two, three. <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> I'd like. Uh, I'd very much like to do something a little bit different this evening. I need someone to help me up here on stage. It's what we call audience patron uh, participation, and uh, <laughs> I need somebody who. Uh, let's have a little look down here. This is where suddenly body language changes enormously. I need somebody just along here. Uh, let's see. Hang on, bear with me. Let's see. I need someone who's uh, good looking and intelligent. This gentleman just here. <laughs> Do you know anybody? <laughs> no, no, what's your name, sir? Richard, would you mind joining me for a minute? Just stand up, Richard. Walk this way. Let's have a big hand for Richard, ladies and gentlemen, from the audience. <laughs> okay, Richard. Lovely to meet you. If you could just come and stand just there. Okay. That's perfect. Okay, now, tonight, live on the Royal Variety Show, you are going to become a human ventriloquist dummy. <laughs> right, bend over. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Richard. I've got a little prop in here which makes you the perfect dummy. All you've got to do is stand there. I will do all the work. Okay, just do me a favour. Hold the mic just there. Okay, all you've got to do is look that way. I think they can take it. Now... <laughs> Unfortunately, you're not going to see any of this, but just trust me, it's really funny. <laughs> Is that okay? I've, I can see it's, it's a pretty good fit there, so that's perfect. Okay, just keep looking out there. We've got the dummy. All we've got to do now is find you a voice, something that matches your physical appearance, something butch, something manly. Are you okay? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, it shocked me. It shocked me. I was only kidding. Do you want me to change it? No, no, I like it. Well, I like you. Well, I, I like 
to me, you know, I'm not gay. Oh, I am. <laughs> but what about your lovely wife? She doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's move on. We need to find you a name now. Yes, a name. We need to find you a name that suits your personality. Yes. A name that when people come up to you afterwards and they, they say, you were marvellous on that show, right? What name would you like everyone to call you? <laughs> Bearing in mind, of course, that some of the people you, you're here with tonight, they might be calling his name for a lot longer than just tonight, OK? So <laughs> it's up to the choose wisely. Do you have one? I do. <laughs> <laughs> what name is it? Tracy. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes, I'm Tracy. OK, that's, that's fine. As long as, as long as you're happy. Now, listen, you, I'm running out of time now. Wait a minute. What? I'm not finished yet. You're not finished? Oh, no. <laughs> Seriously, I'm running out of time. No, just a moment, young man. What? I haven't done my dancing yet. <laughs> it's OK, you don't have to. I really want to. <laughs> well, in that case, I'm no party pooper. <laughs> what sort of dancing is it? River dance. If looks could kill. <laughs> You're not really going to have to do that. I'm still going to have to kick the crap out of you. OK, fair enough. <laughs> You're doing that too fast. Thank you so much, Richard. Thank you. That's it. Mind your way back here. I just got to say, it's been a pleasure to be here. Oi, Zerdin. What? I want to come back out. Sam, I'm in a hurry. I'm finishing this book. I want to come back out, Zerdin. Sam. I don't need you. Listen, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't talk. Yeah, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't eat. <laughs> oh, really? Is that so? OK, all right. Yeah, I'd like to see you without me then. OK, fine. That's the way you want to play it. OK, fine. OK, here's your mic, there's your audience, go for it. so special it's, it's not the presents or the big turkey dinner or the smell of old relatives <laughs> but the wonderful message you deliver to the nation on Christmas Day on the telly and I, I just wondered if it if it would be at all possible mom if it's not too much trouble what would really make my Christmas when, when you do your speech can you get on with it <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please do not get caught up in the world of make-believe. He is, after all, only a puppet. <laughs> Thanks very much. Good night.